Tonight, Adam Montgomery faces charges of second degree murder, tampering with witnesses and informants, falsifying physical evidence and abuse of a corpse. He remains locked up and he is awaiting his trial, uh, which is later this year. And joining me now is Blair Miller, the adoptive father of Harmony's uh, Montgomery's biological brother, Jameson. At one point, Blair and his husband also tried to adopt Harmony as well. Um, Blair, thank you so much for being with us tonight. You know, I think when these recent documents came out, I, it was just, it was already such a sad and horrific situation. I, I, it just, it became almost like next level with some of those details of, of what happened to poor little Harmony. Um, how are you doing? How are you processing this? Uh, how's Jameson and the family? Yeah, you know, and Brian, thank you so much for the work you've done on this. I know it's been important work um, and important attention to it. You know, um, when we were reading through those documents, it was just heartbreaking, beyond heartbreaking, unbelievable. And, you know, we knew this stuff was coming out. We've been talking to with investigators. We've been talking to police. And um, we knew some of these awful details, but then see it laid out there and hearing this reality that Harmony Montgomery lived and the story um, that led to all this, it was just too much. It was emotional. It's still unbelievable. And to think that was her reality that she was living is just hard for us to accept and hard for us to think that we're gonna have to explain that to our son one day. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine. I don't think people realize that you guys also tried to, at one point, adopt Harmony. Well, and, and when we were going through the process of adopting Jameson, we were matched with him. You know, we were instantly told about that he had a sister and we instantly asked, what's that situation? And is this a, a situation where if we're adopting him, do we need to adopt uh, her as well? Um, because we were open to that and we would, wanted to do everything we could. And uh, the state of Massachusetts quickly told us um, she's been reunited with her biological father. And um, we were quickly told it would just be Jameson. And we continued down that road. You know, how is Harmony doing? Because Jameson had a relationship with her. They were in and out of foster homes together. Um, as we've been told it, and the information we were always given is that Harmony looked out for Jameson. And we knew instantly Jameson had a bond with his sister and we wanted to keep that bond alive. It was important to us because we knew instantly it was important to him. And if that meant for her to come living with us, we would have certainly jumped to that. I, I think a lot of people now wish they would have done more. I know we wish we could have done as much as we could have. Well, listen, I mean, I follow you on social media. I see the the amazing life that, that Jameson has. And it, it's it's just tragic to think about if, if that had gone through with the state. and and Harmony would have been with you guys. Um, it's just, it, it, the whole situation is so sad and troubling and, and the way that her situation was handled is just so, makes you, makes you so angry when you look into it. Um, I wanna ask you about, there was so many new dates and, and, and bits of new information in, in the new paperwork that came out. There was one date that stuck out to you, December 7th, uh, 2019. Explain why that was significant. Yeah, it's, it's, it was a powerful day for us. Um, because we had just officially adopted Jameson and we had already been going through the process, fostered to adopt him and uh, went through numerous proceedings on that. But we had just adopted him officially and uh, we were celebrating his first birthday um, as our family, as a family of five. And we wanted to give him the best birthday possible. You know, he loves Mickey Mouse. We had a Mickey Mouse at his party. And as we were going through this affidavit, um, that December 7th date, um, hit us hard, we started going back through our own calendars, our own history. And that was the weekend we were celebrating Jameson's birthday at our house. So we have these two worlds of, well, we're celebrating Jameson and making over him as much as we could, giving him as much love as we possibly could with our family, our friends, our neighbors, his new family, and knowing that what his sister was going through that exact time is just so hard to accept and just so hard to understand how is that possible? Yeah, it's hard to wrap your mind around, again, just knowing the kind of life that Jameson now has and, and then having really researched this case and knowing what Harmony uh, went through and the fact that they were siblings, it's 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 just awful. Um, and, you know, obviously now we've got all this information, but there's still, gonna, there's apparently gonna be a trial. I mean, that that's the plan at this point. Um, later this year, do you think that you'll go to the trial? I mean, that, that's going to be hard to, uh, I think, stomach. Uh, every bit of this has been hard, hard to stomach, and um, none of that gets easier. 
you know, every decision we make talking with you here tonight, we we think what is what is best for Jameson. And we want to be the best parents we can, best dads to him. And we know he's going to go through a lot. Um, he's already been through a lot. Um, as far as what happens with the trial, of course, um, we've been in touch with the attorney general's office and um, want to be as helpful as we can. Um, we do think it's important to be there in some capacity. I don't know what that looks like at this point. Um, you know, it's hard for us to, you know, raising three kids. Um, we're day to day sometimes. Um, it's hard to know what we're going to be doing um, here at the end of the summer. Um, but certainly it is on our radar. It's important for us to um, that people know that, you know, Harmony did have loving family and Harmony does have a loving brother and has a loving family that we may not have met her face to face, but we certainly know how important she is to our family. Yeah, and she would have turned nine years old um, back on, on June 7th, I believe. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned trying to remember her and keep her spirit alive. I, I understand there's like a tradition you guys now now have. Yeah, and my husband Jonathan's really, you know, developed this with Jameson and talks to him a lot about how to how do we celebrate harmony um, in many ways, not just around her birthday. And um, so each year for her birthday, we do something special. And um, this this year, you know, we um, had gotten nine flowers uh, for her birthday in the color purple because that was her favorite color. And Jameson will always tell you that. And uh, Jameson was talking to my husband. And they were talking about uh, what to do with these flowers. And he said, well, <laughs> and you're showing that picture. <laughs> it's hard to look at because he said um, rivers lead to heaven. And that's where harmony is. And so he wanted to go out there with his brothers and put those flowers there for her. And that's what we did. And that means so much to that smart, adorable little boy. Man, I mean, well, he's certainly lucky to have you guys as dads. Um, and, uh, we're, uh, we're the lucky ones. I promise to tell you that, Brian. I always say that the people of adoption, you know, people think we're doing great work. It's these kids who are doing amazing work and, and they're saving us. Understood. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.